Wow, what a night. You know, um, obviously, starting with, with um, just what Children's Harbor, the, the homecoming, and what we're doing with Children's Harbor on homecoming, what that means to me and our team, and um, just just a, a big week for us to get to go out and represent all these all these kids. You know, I was telling on the radio, Coach Vincent had a niece that passed away, our offense coordinator, and um, we got to wear her name on the back. I mean, so, you know, we were talking to our players yesterday that it's – you know, all of this is important, you know, and I think just getting to recognize them. And so I'm appreciative to all the people that helped make that happen, you know, our administration and um, the Children's Harbor folks, obviously, and the families and everybody. So that was just, that was a big deal to us. Homecoming, what a great crowd we had. Um, you know, they were, especially the second half, I really noticed them. I don't know if I've ever heard them any louder than that when we really needed them. Uh, the the, the walk-in was, was just gave you chills. And, um, you know, so you got Children's Harbor game, you got homecoming. Um, it just really doesn't get any better than that. And our guys were, they had a great week of practice. We knew North Texas was really good. I just want to give, you know, Coach Luttrell and, and that group just, man, all the credit in the world. They're physical, they're tough. Um, there's not a lot separating, you know, us. And, and you know, they, they played well enough to win. Um, our guys just played just a little bit better. and. Um, but give them credit, they got a really good team and you know, and that's what makes us even that much more special to get to do this with all those other surrounding things and, and then to beat a really good team who it was really important to. Um, so I just, I guess just how we won, it really doesn't, I don't know if it gets any better than that, to have adversity, uh, to get behind, um, to fumble going in. But wow, you know, I think defense, we made some good adjustments at halftime and some things maybe, you know, maybe I thought in the first half, that, that came to fruition. I know one thing, we don't need to play man free against them. Um, we kind of quit doing that at, at halftime because uh, we couldn't get there and we couldn't hold up. And um, But I just, I think we came out with a different energy in the second half. And I think some of that goes back to just our kids. It goes back to how we practice and how hard they worked. Um, we've been playing really good in the second half the last few weeks. So just hats off to them. And um, it, it was a big one. It was a big one, no doubt. Questions? Uh, yeah, we're down 11 and a half. Uh, what did you uh, go in and tell to the team, uh, talk to the team about, uh, you know, because they came back out, outscored them 19 nothing, and shut North Texas out, this great offense that uh, Mean Green have? I wasn't happy. You know, I wasn't happy. And um, I won't say all I said, but it wasn't, it wasn't pretty because I thought we got, we were down. You know, I, I mean, I thought, um, you know, we put the whole team on the sideline. Um, we put the whole team on the sideline this week, and and they did a pretty good job. But I think we were, you know, maybe we were expecting more in the first half. And that, I just came in half time. I told them this is exactly what I th you know, it could look like. I mean, that's what happens when two good teams play. And I mean, you got a team that's averaging almost 40 points a game. I mean, so um, I know we were disappointed offensively. We hadn't taken advantage of some things defensively. You know, we've got such high standards for ourselves. Um, but I saw an energy, a different energy when they came out. Obviously, we had to have a stop, had the big stop, and uh, then we're going in to score and then have a fumble, and that's really just, I mean, we, we are ball obsessed. I mean, I mean, that's one of the reasons we win is because we're so obsessed with ball security. So that was super disappointing, but the big, huge play out of Marino, um, Coach Tatum, who coached the D-line, said, let's move the front. We stunted him inside, and he get the, got the sack. And I, to me, it just – even though I thought it changed in the third quarter when we came out, you could see the energy from our crowd and our sidelines. And then we come back and score. And, I mean, it was just, you know, it was just, I mean, wow. It's just almost a loss for words for how well we played the second half, how hard the energy, the crowd's energy. Uh, it was special. I know you're looking for more, but does this feel like the highest point since you've been here with everything that's happened? Wow. Um, I don't know, you know, I, I, last year was such a miracle. I mean, really every game where we didn't even know if we could, you know, they picked us 130 and um, and we're beating, you know, one eight games. So, I mean, there was times last year when I just, I don't know if it was relief or just, you know, amazed, but this is, this is up there. I mean, this is when somebody, um, there is no overlooking, there is no excuses or anything else, you know, I mean, that's because that's what I got to hear at the conference meetings that, you know, maybe some people may have overlooked y'all last year. So, um, and that was kind of, a, that was kind of a point of, of uh, pride for us. 
So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty big deal to go in with, with Children's Harbor and how we had to come back at halftime. And I don't know if it is the biggest, but it's one of them. Definitely one of them. Yes, sir. Are you talking about the safety? Yes. Yeah, um, we uh, ran a, a blitz, and it just worked out perfect. It just opened up. Oh, it's awesome. It motivates us a lot. We appreciate it. Did you, uh, considering who y'all were playing for this week with your special jerseys and names on the back, was, uh, was that something that was obviously brought up during, uh, during the um, halftime break? Yes, sir. We were playing for the names on our back. We're also joined by Spencer Brown as well. Had three rushing touchdowns. Spencer, that uh, third touchdown you had, that was the go-ahead score, and uh, you eclipsed 100 yards for the third time this season. Uh, up until this point, you've uh, you know I haven't been the workhorse you were last year, but you've been uh, you know you've been able to excel and still have success. But what did it feel to get that touchdown after y'all been down, you know, as much as y'all were in the first half to come back and get that score to put y'all ahead? Uh, it felt great, you know. It felt good to give our defense a break and give everybody momentum, you know, to finish the game. I thought it was a game changer. And You got you got to show everybody who you're doing it for, you know. You know, it, it was more than us today. You know, we we played for the names on our backs, and I had to let everybody know that. You talk about the uh, Gary. You talk about the the Legion Field workouts during the uh, uh, during January, and I talked to you earlier this week about that. Uh, you know, the, the, obviously that played a part in this. You know, you like y'all are down. You know, about 11 points at halftime, and y'all come back and y'all shut these guys out in the second half. So uh, you know. What did it go into in that second half, being able to shut this offense down when they had, took a, took advantage of y'all in the first half? We just uh, knew what we had to do. We weren't going to go out like that. We knew it was a big game. We knew all the work we put in, so we had to make it pay off. Just to you all on, how big was the fans tonight? The fan base? Yeah. That was the biggest I've ever seen it. Oh, it – the atmosphere was – Unbelievable. Looking up in the stands, how how does that make you play? Is that is that just reinforce it your, your drive? Well, it definitely it definitely changes the momentum when you have a crowd behind you that's into the game. Definitely. Last week when we played Rice, there was about a hundred people there. Now thousands makes a big difference.